India demands that Putin returns the Indians who fought in the Russian army against Ukraine. Russia will dismiss from the army all Indian nationals who signed contracts and were sent to the war against Ukraine. As NDTV reported citing sources, an agreement to this effect was reached by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Putin. According to the sources, Modi raised the issue during a dinner with Putin. The latter agreed to dismiss all Indians serving under contract in Russian units and facilitate their return home. Indian Congress leaders had asked whether Modi will ensure the safe return of Indians fighting for the Russian army in the war zone. Congress General Secretary in Charge of Communications, Jerman Ramesh, posed a series of questions for the Prime Minister in a post on X. At least two individuals have already been confirmed as fatalities of the war. Many others have been duped into fighting a war where they have no stake. Aside from a chance to escape the poverty and unemployment crisis that the non-biological Prime Minister has perpetuated domestically. Will the non-biological Prime Minister take up the cause of these youth? Will he ensure their safe return to India as soon as possible? Ramesh asked. We remind you that in March this year, India's Central Bureau of Investigation uncovered a human trafficking network that was recruiting Indians for high-paying jobs in Russia, which eventually turned out to be fighting in Ukraine. Many Indians enticed to Russia with lucrative education or job opportunities found themselves conscripted into the Russian army to fight against Ukraine when the conflict erupted in February 2022. Some media reports stated that the Russian military employed these Indians as security aides in the Russian military and compelled them to fight alongside Russian soldiers. In June, the Ministry of External Affairs reported that at least four Indian nationals, including a 30-year-old resident of the Hyderabad serving in the Russian army, had been killed in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Hurricane Barrel, which originated in the Caribbean Sea, approached the coast of the United States at local time. In Matagorda, Texas, the wind speed was 138 km per hour. As a result of the hurricane, torrential rain, thunderstorm and strong wind prevailed in the region. One person died as a result of a falling tree during the hurricane. More than 2 million people were left without electricity in the region. According to the information released by the National Hurricane Center, the hurricane, which caused devastating damage along the coast, is moving inland. Texas state and local officials warned it could take several days to restore power after Beryl came ashore as a Category 1 hurricane and toppled 10 transmission lines and knocked down trees that took down power lines. Beryl later weakened into a tropical storm and then a tropical depression, far less powerful than the Category 5 behemoth that tore a deadly path of destruction through parts of Mexico and the Caribbean last weekend. But the winds and rains of the fast-moving storm were still powerful enough to knock down hundreds of trees that had already been teetering in water-saturated earth, and strand dozens of cars on flooded roadways. Despite breaking up and losing force, the front was still threatening to flood areas of eastern Texas, western Louisiana and Arkansas overnight, the hurricane center said. Several tornadoes were also possible in those areas, it said.